What are the best practices for attribution? You can click on the link and see <laughs> that I provide. Um, but basically, you want to give the, the artist whose work that you use credit at the beginning and end, let's say, of a video. Um, you just want to make the credit apparent. Put it in the if YouTube or Vimeo, put it in the um, comments or information section, you know, on your blog. Just make it, you know, put it in the, um, you know, just make it apparent, like give credit to the artist. You know, if someone's song appears in your film, um, you know, bring up, you know, the byline that says their name and the artist's name and title of the song or whatever. If you post the work, whether it's a 2D work, a 3D work or whatever, you know, music or whatever you may, you know, post a link to the uh, artists who you use, you post a link to their work or to their page, you know, that could be good. And also post your work to their page. Um, you know, if you use like someone's song from Dig CC Mixter or something like that to make a beat, maybe go and post a link to your beat because like that artist may have tons of followers who then check out your music or maybe they share it and they have you know, they're an influencer and they have, you know, 150,000 followers on their, you know, Twitter and then a bunch of people go and check out your work, you know, because they shared what you did, you know. So, I mean, like, that's always good. I mean, building this network, you know, um, is, is really good. You must link to the license. That's really important. Again, you can read the best practices for attribution. Um, when you license, like if you post anything on YouTube or you create a WordPress site or you do whatever, um, you, you can always, you should always post under those options. So YouTube has Creative Commons options. Vimeo has Creative Commons options for videos, etc. Just make sure that if you're putting stuff online and there's an NC clause in the stuff that you use, that you adhere to that and you don't sell ads or whatever. Um, just some sources if you want to check out like some of these sources, if you're looking for Creative Commons medium, so you can do a, a Creative Commons search. Google has that. Lots of these um, you know, search sites have, have that stuff. Um, Let's see, see, Creative Commons Music is a place where you can go and just, you know, you can find Gemendo or, you know, uh, CC Mixter is pretty dope. Um, you know, where you can go and get like samples. There's places like Beachfront B-Roll where you can get like footage or Wikimedia Commons. I mean, most of the stuff used on Wikipedia is from Wikimedia and it's common stuff. Um, if you're into making films or what or radio stuff, content or whatever, you can go to freesound.org for sound effects. Flickr has a ton of um, Creative Commons licensed stuff that you can search specifically. Um, I mean, you can find this stuff all over. It's so commonly used. But there's some links for your 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 pleasure if you're a creator or someone who makes stuff or wants to share. Stuff's incredibly easy to use, incredibly intuitive. Um, much much more intuitive than actual contracts and licenses. Um, you know, if you ever need help with any of this stuff, you know, feel free to hit me up and I can try to like talk and walk you through this stuff. But there's a ton and ton of stuff that's put out under Creative Commons licenses. And I, I again, like I said, I strongly advocate that you consider putting your work out and giving to the commons. Um, it's just, you know, it's a shared culture, man. I mean, I think, I think, I hope, you know, by this point in the term, if, if you've actually been able to fully suffer through all of the videos, you know, get the sense of like the importance of having access to, to stuff and, you know, um, allowing other people to build off of, off of your works and seeing that like that is how we actually do move forward as, as a society. All right, so uh, that's that. That's Creative Commons. It's a beautiful thing. I love it. Um, I hope you're still awake, but you'll want to know definitely for the test some of the bits and pieces in there and definitely be familiar with the licenses and how to apply them in specific situations. So just know what each of the um, CCs and BYs and SAs and NDs and NCs, what they all mean.